Here are the latest updates from the PNA Newsroom. The government extends its gratitude to all Filipino nurses here and abroad for their service and sacrifices, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic in observance of Nurses Week. The Office of the Press Secretary thanked Filipino nurses, saying that their skills coupled with the passion they put into their work is unmeasurable. President Ferdinand R. Marcos earlier vowed to raise the profile and improve the working conditions of nurses here and abroad. He also promised to open more slots to the deployment of nurses abroad while striving to improve domestic opportunities. Nurses Week is observed every last week of October by virtue of Proclamation No. 539, signed on October 17, 1958 by then-President Carlos Garcia. Meanwhile, the Philippines commits to a stronger partnership with the member countries of the United Nations as the country aims to achieve peace, security and development among nations. In his message for the celebration of the 77th year of the United Nations, Foreign Affairs Secretary Enrique Manalo said the Philippines plays a constructive role in the UN as a bridge builder and champion of vulnerable groups such as children and migrants. He also underscored the need to build a more peaceful, united, and prosperous world amid the global challenges such as climate change, food insecurity, the COVID-19 pandemic, and the increasing geopolitical conflicts and tensions. The Philippines is one of the 51 countries that created the UN in 1945. Throughout the years, the Philippines has been an active member and staunch advocate for the values and ideals of the United Nations. We have always stood up for sovereign equality of states, peaceful resolution of disputes, equal rights of women and men, inclusive social development, the rule of law, and justice for all. Today, the Philippines plays a constructive role in the United Nations as a bridge builder and champion of vulnerable groups such as children and migrants, and developing countries' interests. The many challenges that confront the world community today present opportunities to forge stronger international cooperation to realize the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. The Department of the Interior and Local Government warns local officials, businessmen, and the public against scammers posing as Interior Secretary Benjamin Abalos Jr. Avalos said they have received reports from several officials that they receive various calls from posers claiming to be the DILG chief and asking for their financial support. Avalos has instructed the PNP anti-cybercrime group to look into the incident and pin down the culprits. He also urged local government leagues to advise their members on the modus and to report any similar incident to the PNP. In other news, a magnitude 5.3 earthquake jolted Davao del Sur this morning. In a bulletin from the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, the tectonic quake struck 16 kilometers southwest of Davao City. Intensity 3 was felt in Malungon, Sarangani, while Intensity 2 was reported in Don Marcelino and Jose Abad Santos, Davao Occidental. The quake was also detected in Santo Nino Tupi and General Santos City in South Cotabato, Alabel and Malapatan, Sarangani, and Kidapawan City, Cotabato. Fibok said aftershocks are likely but damage is not expected. And that is the latest and the biggest stories from the PNA Newsroom. For more news content, visit our webpage or head onto the Philippine News Agency's Facebook and Twitter accounts. We are also shown on the social media pages of the Office of the Press Secretary and Radio Pilipinas RP1. Stay tuned for more news updates. I am William Theo. We tell stories that inspire change.